Do you ever find yourself having a difficult time finding a place to use the restroom in the sticks? Well, we've got just the solution oh, for you. No! Oh, dang it! Welcome all you outdoorsmen. And women. And women to the Sticks Outfitter. My name's Craig, this is Shad, and today we're gonna show you how to make a DIY business doer for camping. Yeah, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a poop, I show what? You wanna fight about it? <laughs> <laughs> so for this project, you're gonna need a five gallon bucket, a five or eight gallon plastic bag, a pool noodle, a toilet paper roll, plastic lid for the bucket, a knife, and maybe a cold beverage. First step, we're gonna have to take apart the handle. All you gotta do is punch it out, do a little wiggle in there and here and there. Throw the toilet paper on the handle, then punch it back in. It's gonna be a pain, but it's gonna be worth it. Because with no pain, no gain. And you're trying to save the pain from the... Gain? <laughs> you know what we're trying to do here. Now you're gonna get your five or eight gallon bag, throw it in there, Make Five sure. works better. Yeah, it'll be tighter, tighter fit. Yeah, we use an eight, we just tied a little knot on the end of it. And then you're gonna, after that, take your noodle, because who doesn't have a noodle? I don't. If you're camping, you got a noodle. I don't. Yeah, I think you're, yeah I, I, I've never brought a noodle <laughs> camping, but you can get one at the dollar store for a dollar. So after we get the noodle, you're gonna measure it and then cut it in those spots that you need to. Leave a little bit of space in between for, you know what? <laughs> you, don't, you don't want that noodle getting in the way of the, the noodle. <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to go over here. And once you got that, then you're gonna cut it with a knife. And then we're gonna split it right down the middle. So you can wrap it around, pop it on. Chad's not very good with working a noodle, so it took him a while to pop it on the bucket there. Yeah. I never done anything like that before in my life. <laughs> that thing is cushiony. I'll tell yeah, you what, yeah, better than a toilet seat. Anyways. So now that you got it all set up, feel free to test it with a little bit of liquid. Use your noodle and... We used a, uh, we used a light keystone to test it out. Oh, yeah. It worked just fine, it, no leaks or anything. In no, there. yeah, it was perfect. And then, uh, you know, drop a little something, something in there, see how that works. It wasn't poop, it was just a clot of dirt. Yep. All I gotta say is that five gallon bucket was barely just enough for us. Uh, you know, some people might need a bigger than a five gallon bucket, but you know, for most of us, five gallons should work. I mean, throw it on that must too. Throw a little dirt in there, some twigs, sagebrush. That keeps the mosquitoes away too. That's right. Little keep, known fact. Keep the skeeters out of there and keep the scent down. Just throw nature in there because that's where nature belongs. A little backwood tip there. Yeah. But once you're done doing your business, take it out, wrap it up, plug your nose, and drop it off in a legal area. Don't leave this out in the woods or else I'll come find you and put that bucket on your, never mind. I usually leave mine out in the woods, Craig, but I don't have a bag though. Yeah, I just don't, yeah, I think it's illegal. You can fit all your stuff in there too afterwards. If you're going camping and you want to pack your stuff in there, your pooper stuff, throw it all in there. It's clean, it's FDA approved. I don't know if that's true, we shouldn't say that. Well, you know, it probably is or not, yeah. but <laughs> just throw your stuff in there, it's just a toilet. Shoot, it took us 20 minutes to really build it, or less. Yeah, less than that, it was like five minutes. I'm drinking less beer than probably took uh, Yeah, if you didn't keep using it. You gotta start with a whole new bag and start all over. Thanks for watching another episode of The Stakes Outfitter. To see more episodes like this with DIY projects, hunting and fishing stuff, click that subscribe button up here or hit Shad's face right here. And comment below, we wanna hear what you wanna see next for a DIY project. And until next time, keep hunting, fishing, and squatting in the sticks. That's got a good jingle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's everywhere. Yeah, there you I go. made this bucket for you, which made for your bum. <laughs> And it's really comfy for it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but don't use it on your butt. That'll really hurt. <laughs> All right, ready? Put a mustache in it, and it's sure to be funny. <laughs> or No kidding. Or amazing. And I smell that stuff. Poop. All I'm done myself. Too many poops in the woods for that to happen. <laughs> This every time. What do we do? <laughs> First, <laughs> <Take> focus. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Stop. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I mean, I I was trying to be PG with it, but it came out rated R. <laughs> what is... Oh! I don't know! <laughs>